now I am in Vancouver. That was like a four hour flight. And now I gotta connect to Air Canada to go to Narita Airport. I got two hours until the flight takes off, so I don't know if I'm gonna have any time to film it all. But now, I don't know if I have to go through customs or not. Let's see. It's a really cool airport, though. Well, apparently I just went through customs. I don't know. I guess it was customs for connecting flights, but I met my first Canadian in Canada and he had a really cool accent, so that was exciting. Now, now I gotta find out where the hell I gotta go. And it looks like I have got some time. So, I'm still inside uh, Vancouver's airport. This is a really, really cool airport. They have a little, like, stream inside of it. It looks really cool. The architecture is really nice. And I just went into this place, Hanami. It's like Japanese, Chinese, Korean food. It was pretty good. The beef, beef brisket is really good. So, I made it to Narita Airport. And, um, but there's a problem. The problem is, is that they lost my bags. And I only had one bag, and it has all my clothes in it. So, now, they said they're gonna bring me my bag, but they're gonna bring me it on July 31st, and that's the day that I'm going to Okinawa. So, so now Miyoko is trying to bargain with them. So, we had to speak with um, one of the representatives, one of the ladies that have, like, handles baggage claim. And apparently, they may not be able to ship it tomorrow. So it may or may not be here tomorrow, and then they could send it the next day. But that's when we go to Okinawa, so they may have to send it later. Yay! <laughs> So, they, they may send it to us somewhere in Okinawa, I don't know. But either way, we gotta get some clothes. And apparently, they'll give us money to buy. Okay. Well, we like, we'll buy clothes and then we'll bring the receipts and then they'll, um, they'll refund us when I get back to O'Hare. So that's, that's, I wish they would just give us money. Now we're gonna go get coffee before we go back. At Staba. Uh. <laughs> this little, you see a little metal tray right there? So usually, when you buy something, you put the money on the metal tray. Nah. They put they put the change, they put the change and money on the metal tray, and it's more like high class, it's more fancy because you're not actually like giving the money directly to the person's hands. Sometimes you do, but sometimes it's just in the metal tray. And now, now we're in Starbucks. It's basically the same Starbucks as anywhere else. So right now, I'm in a drugstore, I'm trying to find deodorant, antiperspirant deodorant because it's in my um, carry-on or like my check bag that is lost. And so like, I'm gonna have to go like two days without deodorant and I'm gonna start smelling really bad. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're trying to find a place to go to, but we're trying to, I mean, we're trying to find a deodorant, but it's like, <laughs> it's like, they only have deodorant, they don't have antiperspirant, and I'm trying to explain it to the shop people, but they don't get it because they don't like, I don't know, it's, I don't think they understand that bad things will happen if I don't use some antiperspirant. Very bad things. 
found something. We went to a different drugstore. We found something. For problem perspiration. It is like 8.30 <clears throat> and I am pooped. I am ready to go back and take a shower and go straight to bed. I've been up for a while now. We just got finished. Um, I, I ate dinner with uh, Mihoko and Mihoko's mother. It was really, really good. Really good sushi. So, now I'm just waiting for them and then we'll go back home. Uh, I wish I had my bag with me. Now I gotta wear the same clothes forever. Oh. Good morning, or good afternoon. What is it, like 1.15? 1.40. Oh. It's 1.40. <laughs> we gotta go. So, um, this, is, uh, this is the 30th, July 30th. And now we just got, we just came from our apartment and we're gonna go, um, today there is a party for me, a welcome back party. So all my friends, I'm gonna get to meet them again. And also, this way or that way? And then, um, before that though, we're going to go to the airport and try to see if my baggage, my luggage came. Guess where we're at? Where are you knocking? But we're not stopping here. We're going to go to Nishichiba. I got a chart for my car. So right now we're in Nishichiba station. This is the um, station that for um, Chiba University. Can I use this? Okay. So, right now, right now we're going to go to Chiba University. Yay! And there it is all the way in the distance. We, we have come in contact with Cyro Building. There it is right there. So, let's go inside. I seem like this is like what time? Like the third time? It's been like. Seems like I'm always coming back. I can't get away from Sire no matter how hard I try. And there's the cafeteria over there. And there's the co op. So, right now. Right now, I'm trying to find. See, one of the biggest problems with going to Japan is making sure that you have enough money. And the hardest thing is, is finding a place to get money. Because like the ATM, you gotta think about like, if you take it from an ATM, there's a fee for that ATM. Plus, there may be an international like um, fee for taking it, like moving it over to Japan. And then you have to think about the conversion rates. So right now I think it's like, one dollar, one U.S. dollars, eighty-seven yen. So right now, I had to bring a bunch of money and give it to Miyoko because she bought my tickets for me um, to go to Okinawa and Korea. But and that was like a thousand dollars, and like to exchange the exchange the money, it took like a hundred dollars off, like what it would normally be. It's just really tough. So I'm trying to find a better way to do this. But right now, I'm just going to try to take money out of my debit card, but i got to make sure that I have enough money in my checking account and just move from my savings account. So, I'm inside the, inside the co-op, the little convenience store. And well, I just think, first of all, to be able, like, they're selling, like, alcohol inside the co-op, inside the college, which is pretty funny. And apparently this is like, like a special, like, did students make this? No, students didn't make it, but either way, <laughs> that's really funny. This would never happen at UIC, never. That's awesome. Now I'm looking for some snacks. 